Hello, my name is Mark Pimentel. I'm a CAM application specialist here at Hawkridge Systems. And in this video, I'll be giving you some tips on how to choose your multi-axis CAM module. So when most shops are looking to upgrade the machinery in the shop, they're looking at multi-axis mills. So a multi-axis mill simply means that it's a regular CNC mill, but with the ability to both tilt and rotate the head or the part on the machine. This gives you increased access to the part, maybe reducing the number of setups on the part, or giving you better access in terms of the complexity of the features you're able to machine on the part. So when you upgrade the machinery, you also need to make sure that you're looking at upgrading your CAM software so that you can better utilize the functionality of that machine. So when we refer to multi-axis, we need to determine what type of multi-axis we're talking about. So let's take a look at those types. There's actually two main types that multi-axis functionality can be reduced to. The first is what we call three plus two, or sometimes known as indexial or preposition. What that's referring to is movement in the X, the Y, and the Z direction. That would be your three. And then the plus two is the rotate and the tilt angles. And on most machines, that could be uh, any of these two rotations, rotation around the X, a rotation around the Y, or a rotation around the Z or otherwise known as the A, the B, and the C axes. So with a three plus two machine, you're basically still doing the same two and a half or 3D operations, but on an indexed plane. You're tilting the part and acting on the part in that one angle throughout the, machine, the operation, and then tilting it and rotating it to another position to continue the next operation. So it's a very simple way to get increased access to your part and reducing your setups. If you're looking at doing much more complex parts, then that's when you need to look at the second type, which is referred to as five axis simultaneous. This is when all five of those axes, the X, the Y, the Z, the C, and the A, are moving all at the same time. This uh, yields itself to more complex parts, parts where the tool can maintain contact to completely finish something like a helical groove. It's constantly rotating and tilting the part as it's moving along. So that's why we call it simultaneous. It's between these two types of multi-axis functionality that you need to determine which CAMWorks module you're looking for. So let's break it down even further. So for the three plus two operation, you'll notice that the tool is approaching at a particular angle. Now this is just an angle off the vertical in this example, but it could be any compound angle in both the C and the A axis. Once it achieves that preposition, once it indexes to that angle, it begins to work on the part. So you can see from the video here that as it gets down into the part, it's really just moving in that particular tool angle and then maintains that angle until the end of the operation. Once it moves on to one of the other pockets, it could index to another angle, lock that angle in place, and then act on the part once again. Let's compare that to five axis simultaneous. In this example, the part is starting to machine at the top of the mouth of the port, and as it goes along, you'll see that the tool continues to change angle all throughout the operation. So this is both movement in the X, the Y, the Z, and the C and the A angles, a rotation around X and a rotation around Z. This gives the, the head or the table the ability to move the part in a way that even though we have a very odd shaped port, we can get the tool in there at the proper angle to fully machine the inside. So this is five axis simultaneous, the way that the, the tool will move around the part. So how do you choose your CAM module? Well, you wanna make sure you don't overbuy. And by that we mean, if you're looking to get five axis functionality, determine which one you're looking for. If you get five axis three plus two or five axis simultaneous. Either one gives you the full capabilities of the machine, but it's really more down to the kind of workflow you're looking to achieve. If you only ever really do two and a half feature, two and a half axis features, three axis features on different planes of your part, if you're drilling holes on different angles, then you're looking at three plus two. If you do parts where there's a lot of curvature, a lot of different angles, a lot of different access issues to get to those different features, then you're looking at five axis simultaneous. Either one has different price points, obviously. So it's best to know which one you're, you're looking into, which one you need for the kind of parts that you machine. For more ways to determine what type of CAM module for any type of machinery you're working with, click on the link in the description to attend the webinar where I give you more tips on how to choose any of the modules from CAMWorks that best fits the kind of workflow you're doing in your day-to-day -day work.
Thanks for watching.